In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to merge data from multiple columns into a single column using Microsoft Excel. And so here we have three columns of data. So we have the first name of an individual, the middle initial, and the last name. And what we want to do in this tutorial is we want to combine these three columns of data into one column. So I'm going to put this in column E. So I'm going to write full name for column E. Now, one way we can do this is to use the concatenate function. So if you type in equal concatenate, here it is. And then you need to type in text one. So text one is located in cell B3. So that's John. And then what you want to do is type in uh, text two. But if you put, let's say, C2, for example, notice that there's no space between. Wait, I don't want C2, I want C3. But notice that there's no space between John and his middle initial, which is K. So you want to put a space in between there. So after pressing B3 and then comma, you want to put in quotation, space, quotation. And then you want to type in C3. So if we do that, we'll get John K. Now to add the third column of data, just continue the trend. So after C3, let's put quotation, space, quotation, and then D3. Wait, I forgot to put the comma after the quotation mark, so don't forget to do that. Sometimes it's very easy to make a mistake. So once you have the comma after the quotation, you could type in D3, and then we have it, John K. Smith. And so that's how you can combine the data from three columns and merge it into a single column. Now granted, you can put other things instead of the space button. So let's say if you want to put a colon instead, you can do that. So whatever you want, whatever whatever you want to introduce in between the names, like the first name, the middle initial, and the last name, you can put it inside the quotation. So let's say if you want to put a slash or like a backslash or a dash, you can do so as well. But let's take away that. And let's put the space back in. Now, to extend this trend, you can click the button at the bottom right and then just drag it. And so you're going to get the full name for this entire three columns of data. Now, it turns out that there are other ways in which you can accomplish the same thing. So let's delete this. So instead of using the concatenate function, what we can do is type in equal, and then we'll start with B3, and then type in the ampersand symbol. So that's shift seven. And then after that, let's type in the quotation marks, and then space, just to space out the cells and then quotation marks, and then the ampersand symbol again, and then we'll go with cell C3, and then you can continue it. So ampersand, quotation, and then after that, the next one is ampersand again, and then D3. So that's another way in which you could combine the data in those three columns, and then you could extend it if you want to. Now, there is another way in which we can do this too, and that is using the text join feature. So if you type in equal text join, and then you need to choose the delimiter. I think I said that wrong, delimiter. Now, for that, I'm going to type in quotation, space, quotation. And what this is going to do is it's going to put a space between each column of data. Now, the next option is, do we want to ignore empty cells or include empty cells? So I'm going to choose true to ignore empty cells. And then we could select the text. So text one will be the information in B3. And then text two will be the information in C3. 
and then text three will be the information in D3. Now, this feature, text join, is very useful if you have, let's say, 12 columns of data or like 20, because you don't want to keep writing the ampersand a symbol multiple times. Or if you use the concatenate function, you don't want to have to keep putting in quotation, space, quotation. So in this case, if you have many columns of data that you want to combine, the text join feature might save you some time. So as you can see, the results are the same. And so that's how you can merge the data in multiple columns into a single column using the concatenate function, the text join function, and the other method, which I currently don't have a name for. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.